Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with the NCAA 13, and we have got some good stuff coming for you here in this one as we continue on with Coach Dunbar Snack Bar here as I do my coaching carousel here as the Army Black Knights. Now we're going up against Eastern Michigan, which I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think is going to be a piece of cake. Now when I saw them on my schedule, I figured, hey, Eastern Michigan shouldn't be a problem. But now that I go ahead and I go into it here, I see I'm a C minus school. They are C. I am the underdog in this one, and I am playing on their home field. Now, granted, with a team like Eastern Michigan, it's not going to have too much of an impact, but every little bit when you are playing as the underdog uh, can help the other team tremendously and put you at a disadvantage. So we'll see if I can come away with the win here. I still do not have my first string halfback yet. He is still injured, so we're going to have to try to see what kind of game plan uh, is going to work for us here. Now, we end up having to kick at the beginning of the game, which I'm totally cool with, don't get me wrong. But once again, the computer takes like 40 seconds to go through an entire drive. So it didn't start off here too well. We ended up losing five on the first play, gained two on the second, which is why we are at third and 13 right now. So a passing play here for Trent Steelman, who going to try and go on the ground here but oh I was tackled from behind I wasn't expecting them to be able to get to me I thought I was going to make it closer to the line and then miss it by three we're already down though 10 to nothing very early on in the game so I don't like having this type uh, of lead I have to overcome but seems like uh, passing game is going to work okay as I go ahead and hand it off to Tucker here um, we'll see what happens though because the Running game, I really shouldn't go off of the first drive. And to be honest, uh, I didn't the, – the whole first drive wasn't what I normally do here. So uh, the slants continue to work here, handing it to Tucker again through the air. Man, hey, if it's going to keep working, I'm going to keep going with this here. So you may see a lot of slants here in this game. I'm going to go with it again. This time I head to the other side, not able to hold on to the ball. So we're looking at an incomplete pass, second and 10. Now you guys know this is one of my favorite plays to go with here. As he cuts inside, usually nobody is there to be able to defend him. And if they are, they're usually a few steps behind. So Brown able to pick up some more yards through the air here. Kind of liking here where this is going with the passing game. Maybe I should keep going with this. But with third and two, let's go ahead and hand it off to Dixon, the fullback, who does get the first down. So I haven't ran that play too much which is why I think the computer went with something different here. But anyway, trying to go deep here with some streaks. Allen makes the catch. And I'm liking this. I'm not usually going uh, with this type of passing play. It was recommended. I try it every once in a while. But on single coverage here, I figured why not, and it worked. Besides, with me being down 10 points here, I got to do something to try and get the lead here and pick up a touchdown here as quickly as I can. So going with another passing play to Allen. Makes a great catch. I really threaded the needle on that one here, but not able to get into the end zone. Third and goal. So we're going to try with the power Maryland eye formation here. Not able to get the first down. So fourth and goal. We're going to have to go ahead and kick the field goal here, which I am not happy about because we are still down by a touchdown at this point here. But we did run some time off of the clock here. I think we used it wisely here on 11 plays. All right. So now we are in the uh, second quarter. Actually just started here. Brown getting the first down on the ground. And I've really been surprised at how well running up the middle has been as well. I might have to keep doing that here, but I don't want to necessarily go with that quite yet. Because if I need that later on in the game to try and run down the clock, I don't want to put myself in a position here where the computer knows what's coming and defends against it, and I'm not able to get the first down here. So slants once again, but a bad throw. Third and one here for us. We're going to go with a QB sneak. Absolutely. Steelman gets across the line here. I was really surprised by it. You go back and watch it. It doesn't look like that he made it past the line, but that's okay. So Ottabalingo here a little bit. Lucky that one wasn't intercepted here. I'm trying to go with the slants once again. Maybe the computer has picked up on what I'm doing. we got to keep going with it. I don't want to necessarily get afraid quite yet. Tucker 
third and inches off of that. So this is why you got to go ahead and try just a little bit more to see if your plan is going to work. Because if it messes up once and you try to go with something a little bit different, you may have missed a great opportunity. So we're going to go ahead with the run here to the right side. Able to get the first down. I realized I probably could have gotten more if I had stretched it out a, uh, a little bit. But that's okay. Thing is, I got the first down. Tucker's got a catch. And we have another first down. So 8 of 12. That is a good percentage here. That's 100 yards through the air, which you usually don't see out of Army here at this point in the game. Stevens, though, making it first in goal. So we got a pretty good chance to be able to tie the game up here. And we're going to run to the outside here. Brown's going to have no problem getting into the end zone. And we have tied the game up at 10. So Army doing a great job here now offensively. It seems like I've got something going here. Slants is working well. Passes in the middle. Got to keep going with that here as often as I can. Since that's getting me yards. When they can hold on to the ball. Unlike right then. Now, it's kind of one of those things here that uh, with NCAA, I've been playing like slow and steady. Don't like doing plays like this for that reason. Now, granted, I know I threw into double coverage. I thought that the way that the uh, safety was set up here ended up pulling away, or the cornerback would at least, but gosh. Can't afford any turnovers here in this game because we are down by 14 points yet again. It is 24 to 10. Got to hold on to those guys. It's so frustrating when they drop it because it's like, you know, I got it right where you needed it. Steven's making a move. Look how many yards we're going to pick up here off of this pass. The yak was gorgeous. Breaking one tackle here and getting out of bounds. So this, you guys, was miraculous. Not expecting that at all. The computer overshoots me. I get plenty of yards here after the catch. And since I'm able to run out of bounds, I stop the clock. Since we don't have that much time left here, in the half we've got less than a minute here at this point now going with the play action pass here able to complete it nope just kidding tucker drops it so at the moment where i need him to catch it the most he drops it i will not forget that tucker third and 14 here dangerous dangerous point here for us but steelman running to the outside lots of green getting a touchdown late in the half so a huge, huge run for Steelman here and the Army Black Knights. I haven't been running the ball too much with him here, but heck, if he can get yards like this, I might try to keep going it here or at least keep it in my mind that if it comes down to it, I can run because I haven't had that many yards running with him. All right, so we are still down by seven points here. It really has been kind of disappointing defensively that we've given up 24 points here in the half. Now offensively speaking yeah i gave up one turnover i think that hurt me pretty bad hopefully we can bounce back from all of this here as well it'd be nice to get a win here as an underdog but i don't know if we lose it's okay i'm not worried because i think we'll end up being bull eligible right now we've got five games under our belt here in the win column now you can see my passes really haven't been too great here after we saw that initial um, statistics showing up on the screen, but it's all right. 31-17, we're down at that 14-point deficit once again, so the defense not helping me out at all. All right, well, I guess the first few games, they've done a pretty good job. This game, not so much. If I was a defensive coordinator, maybe things would be a little bit different, or if I was the head coach, because then I'd get to be able to play both sides of the ball. But that's okay that it's not taking place. I will live... So the running game here works well for Brown. Trying to spin doesn't work well for us here. I got to really master the spin because when that works, that can be super effective. But I don't know. I guess he wasn't running right at me. That's the thing I got to be changing here. So the computer now, whenever they see that I run a particular formation here, they're going to scrunch up the defensive line, hoping that I'm going to just run it right up the middle, right at him. That's why you audible. Now this time I only pick up three here, but if they keep doing that, I'm going to be exploiting that every opportunity that I can get. Look how they're scrunched up on one side, so you better believe I'm going to be running to the other. Dixon picking up a few here as well, so third and four. Now the first drives that we've had here running on the ground haven't been that bad at all. 
We're going to go with something a little bit different here. We're going to go with the play action and the sack. Kind of regretting going with play action here on third down. That's all right. Let's see if we can go ahead and get the field goal. It's up and it's good. All right, so 20 to 31. We're down by 11 at this point. Defense really needs to help me out. Make sure they do everything they can to prevent them from scoring. It looks like they do on that drive. Puts me in a good position here to be able to get a lot of yards. As we were actually back at the seven-yard line. This time, able to complete it here. What was something different? What I did is I audibled away from the run that I was doing here to a passing play and made sure that it wasn't a uh, play action pass. So Brown picking up more yards here on the ground. The running game's been phenomenal here in the second part of the game. A lot better blocking. Computer not set up. Well, I think they're kind of scratching their heads at what I'm going to be doing here. But if I'm running this Maryland formation here where I've got um, three people here behind uh, behind the uh, quarterback, it really sets up a lot of things that you can do. And that's what I like about it. Because, I mean, even if you run, you got a lot of power behind you. And that's something that, I don't know, it's my style of gameplay here, I think, is to try and put a balanced offense together with a good running game. So I feel I could do it with that here with that extra person. But not the best target to go with here. The slants didn't work, but let's try it again here, see if we can get it working. All right, so this time, great catch, open, and in the end zone. So he's going one direction here. The defender going the other. That was a piece of cake. That's why audibling is awesome, because originally I was set up in the Maryland formation here, and then I went with another uh, running play here with a different type of formation on the audible, and then I audibled away from that here to a slant play, and it worked. So we are now only down by four points here as we are in the fourth quarter here. Picking up eight through the air on that one. So it seems like offensively now in this half, things are working good. The defense is holding their ground, preventing Eastern Michigan from getting any more points on the board. This is definitely doable. Now I'm intentionally running the ball here as much as I can in an attempt to try and wear the clock down a little bit. So that way, if I can get into the end zone, I don't leave the computer that much time to be able to get some points. It's kind of part of my strategy here. I got to be the last one to hold on to the ball here, um, or at least as close to it as I possibly can. So you'll see I'm going to be, of course, trying to leave it inbounds here. I don't want to run out of bounds, so you'll be seeing more runs like this up the middle, letting the clock run down. Um, but at the same time, I have to be careful. And this is the thing that's tough. Because let's say I don't get the first down and I've wasted all this time off of the clock. The computer can very easily go ahead at that point and run the clock down themselves. And that's okay for them because they're in the lead at that point. But they seem, uh, or they seem kind of worried here with the pickup that I've been getting here on the ground. But a great stop right here. Stuff like this is going to stop my momentum here. Second and 11. We're going to go with old trusty here. One of my favorite passing plays. Wide open. I love this. A lot of yards after the catch right here as well. And we're going to get it first and goal. So great chance for us to get those seven points on the board and the lead. Remember, I've been down for 14 points. A good chunk of this game. Eastern Michigan been able to put a lot of stuff together offensively here. I have two. But their defense has kind of given up here in the second half. I don't know if they thought they had the win or what, but second and goal here for us as we run this one to the outside. Brown finding a hole, getting into the end zone. That is the lead for Army here. Wow. I gave up, you guys. I really gave up. When I saw 14 points as early as I did and how often it's been staying at 14 points, I didn't think I'd come away with the lead. But a flag on the play here. Let us hope this is not holding. All right, so it's offside. So I'm going to accept that here. Eastern Michigan calls timeout. So first and five for me. They're going to go ahead and use as many timeouts as they can. So you better believe I'm running here. I get the first down. That is going to hurt Eastern Michigan. Every time I get a first down, I may just need one more first down, and this game is mine. 
So they still seem kind of confused on what I'm going to do in this situation. This is because I've been using this formation quite a bit and been throwing a whole bunch of different things at him. Picking up eight right here, though. Last time out has been used by Eastern Michigan. So I just got to cross that first down marker, and the game is in the bag for me because I'm just going to run the clock down. Brown fighting and getting the first down. So the three-point lead is huge for us here. I got to make sure I don't turn the ball over, and trust me, I am worried about it at this point. Once again, picking up good yards on the ground. I kind of wish I would have gone with this formation here more throughout the game because this is working really well against Eastern Michigan, and maybe I'll be able to confuse some other opponents as well with this uh, particular formation here as well. But that is going to be the last play of the game if everything works out correctly here, and it is. So you can see one second, and the game is mine. So coming down from a deficit here of 14 points is no tough task here, especially when the computer still is scoring. I want to say that my defense is player of the game, but after what they did in the first half, no, I can't give it to them. Uh, so just a phenomenal game here. What a great comeback. That's awesome. But anyway, more, of course, to come here with the Army Black Knights and Coach Dunbar Snack Bar here soon. So feel free to subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. And you guys also know you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. So if you guys want to be in the know of what's going on with my life, there you go. That's how you know. But again, thank you for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.